Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about the concept of heat or thermal energy transfer using the technique of conduction, the first of our three in this mini-series. Okay, so in the previous videos we've introduced this concept of thermal energy, that is the energy um, in particle motion in an object. Okay, so it's based on how much of the particles of an object moving. Okay, we see that we can measure this or we can have a way to observe this using temperature. So, um, which tells us about the average speed slash motion of particles in an object. Okay, and so that high temperature objects have more thermal energy than low temperature objects. Uh, so high temp, okay. And we also introduced this idea of heating, not heat as a noun. Remember, it's not a, not a noun, but it is a verb, an action. And so that is, it relates to um, thermal energy transfer. And it goes from a high temp object to a low temp object. Okay, so that's kind of the direction. That's, that's roughly how it works. Okay, but so what we want to now talk about is this idea that there's three main mechanisms by which this works. Conduction, convection, and thermal radiation. Okay, so in this video we're going to very quickly discuss the first one, conduction. Okay, so we've talked about in the past this idea that matter is made up of particles. Okay, so particles that are in motion. So that motion might be um, vibrating or jiggling on the spot. It might be moving from point A to point B, and it might be, um, you know, kind of rolling over or kind of spinning around. Okay, but then getting to this idea that um, more thermal energy gives us more motion. Okay, and so that the more thermal energy there is, the more motion that those particles have. But now, if we look at these particles over here, let's 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 kind of expand this out to think about say like a, a metal rod. Okay, so if that's kind of our, this is kind of our rod, and these are the particles of our rod inside. Okay, excuse the little squiggles, but you get the idea. Okay, and so what we have is that let's say um, we start heating up this end, or that is we, we start putting more thermal energy into this end with a flame. Okay, what happens is that the particles at this end start to move more, move around more. So I'm kind of representing with some of these kind of red little motion lines. Okay, so they, they start to move around a lot more. Maybe they're vibrating more in their spot. Maybe they're starting to move um, more and more um, from one place to another. But what happens is that these particles um, start to collide with each other. Okay, so you think about, um, say, like pool balls on a pool table. Okay, um, so when the, these particles collide, we get an energy transfer happening. And it's by this thing that we would say, or we, we would say that it's because there is direct contact between them. Okay, so that is particles actually hitting one another. And so um, what we can say then is this idea of energy transfer or thermal energy transfer, to be even more precise, thermal energy transfer by direct contact is this idea of conduction. Okay, so that's that's where this concept kind of kicks in. So that this thermal energy starts to make its way as that these particles collide with the ones next to them. Okay, so they end up making collisions and they start moving further and further through the material as these collisions happen and then they're passing on more of that energy until eventually it makes its way all the way through the material. And then we end up all at the same temperature Okay, that is the same amount of motion. Okay, eventually once we, we even up the amount of energy. Okay, so conduction is the sort of thing that would happen, say, like in a metal rod, or perhaps if you put, say, like a metal spoon in a, a cup of tea or coffee, um, that eventually the metal spoon gets hot because the thermal energy is being conducted through that metal. Okay, now, so conduction is generally a pretty slow process. Uh, metals conduct thermal energy faster than non-metals, um, so a metal spoon will conduct it better than a wooden spoon, 
Um, okay, but it's still um, a relatively slow process. It takes a little while for that thermal energy to make its way through because the particles have to collide. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.